So, I'm making this video from over here in my neighbourhood in Calamayor in the west side of Parma and I want to show you what changing times are looking like over here in Mallorca at the moment. Now I very rarely come down to film in my neighbourhood but I wanted to show you and I wanted to bring you a slightly different video today really from a local's perspective to show you about the crazy pricing that we are experiencing over here in Mallorca. Now this video of course is going to show my opinion as well of what of what's going on down here in Calamayor but it's also going to have some information as well if you're coming over here on holiday because of course there are some lovely hotels down here in Calamayor. I'm filming right in front of the very beautiful Nixé Palace and of course the King of Spain as well well he comes on holiday over here too because I'm just literally along the coast here from Mary Vent and from the King's Palace too but what is going on down here on one of Palmer's most lovely beaches over here in Calamayor? Now I'm just on the west side of Palma here just down from from the city and this is the first beach that you get to when you come out here on the number four bus and for that reason this beach is not only very very popular with the locals because there's a huge residential community here but it's also very popular with people coming out from the city who come over for the day and um, particularly on weekends they jump on the number four bus and they alight at the bus stop just in front of the beach as well and they come down here to enjoy a day on the beach but times have changed and well pricing has changed down here and you can see that I'm standing here in front of what has been a very beautifully and newly built Chiringuito beach bar it hasn't opened yet it's just 9am but I'm right next to the luxury offering the luxury sunbed and beach umbrella offering that we now have down here on Cala Mayor Beach now it's absolutely crazy just from my perspective that this area here where you can get sunbed rentals and beach umbrella rentals they are renting two sun lounges and a beach umbrella with a safe attached for 70 euros for a day. Now, I'm pretty sure we can find a hotel night here on the island for under 70 euros. And it didn't take me too long to find accommodation for under 70 euros for the night just down the coast here in Santa Ponza at the Globales of Ferdemar Apartments. But is it like this right across the beach? Well, no, it's not. We do have this luxury sunbed area and it's made up of three rows of these double sunbeds with a beach umbrella and a safe at 470 euros for the day. So the area in front of me we can see is renting out for a little bit cheaper. Two sunbeds, a beach umbrella and a beach safe as well is 25 euros for the day. But well, what's the difference? What is the difference between the luxury area behind me and the, the blue sunbeds in front of me? Well, I think you get a little spongy thing to go onto your, your sunbed. You have a little table thing to put your drinks on. Does it include drinks in the rental price? Um, I think you have to come here to buy them when it opens. So I'm going to be back down here later on this, in the season to see how much uh, cocktails cost at some point as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy. There's literally no difference except for the fact you're going to be in this luxury exclusive area, which I have to say does take up quite a lot of room on the beach. Now, why do I have a problem with this? I have a problem with this because Calamior Beach is actually quite small. It's broken up into two areas. You can see the whole area that you come in on um, from the roads. Um, we've got the blue, the cheaper sunbed rentals on that side. When you come over onto this side in front of the Nixé Palace Hotel, you've got the, this luxury area taking up a sizable chunk. Now on the weekend, it gets extremely busy over here from us Cala Mayor residents, but also from people coming out from Parma. They'll come out with their picnics, they'll come down with their families and they'll spend a fantastic day on the beach. But the space here is going to be radically reduced. Um, it's not great and I know locals are not gonna be happy about it. So although, and I, as I have mentioned in a previous video, the Costas Authority do govern the coastlines here in Mallorca. They also grant the licenses for these, uh, these sunbed um, rentals as well, which is then managed through the town halls. It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen this summer, particularly on a Saturday or a Sunday when it gets very busy. Families come out from Parma and there's not going to be anywhere for them to go except maybe to crowd around this, this luxury area. And it's going to give this real feeling of them and us. And personally, I don't like it. 
I brought my daughter up on this beach. I have to say, um, my daughter was born obviously here in Mallorca, and we lived just up the road. And we, we we used to come down here frequently when she was really small. We still come down here too. We come down here for beach picnics, particularly in the evenings during the hot summer months. We come down for a swim. I don't come to the beach during the day on the weekends down here because it's just too crowded and too busy for my liking. But it's going to be an interesting summer down here and I'm going to bring you updates to show you what it's like but the one thing I do not like and I have to say it does feel like it does feel like privatization by stealth of the beaches over here in Mallorca we, we see it in in the Caribbean we've seen it in some of the most beautiful Caribbean islands um, that beaches have been cordoned off locals haven't been able to use them it's, they've been reserved for tourism and you have to wonder as well why there is a little bit of resentment towards tourism over here in Mallorca when we're seeing swathes of beaches here being overtaken by by sunbeds and beach umbrellas this isn't the only place I've seen it I'm going to bring you some updates as well um, regarding the beach umbrella situation and the beach services situation around the island as well so consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that video will be coming out very soon so I've just had to come in from the sun there. I was, I, was, I was literally frying. The temperature's warming up quite nicely over here on the island. But I have to say too, continuing with this subject, that there, there's no standardisation of prices for the rental of sunbeds and beach umbrellas over here in the Palma municipality. Because, well, as you know, I filmed a live stream over on the Playa de Palma just a couple of weekends ago. I checked out the, the sunbeds and beach umbrella prices for the premium rentals over there on the Playa de Palma. And they're averaging around 40 something euros. I just don't know how Cala Mayor can justify putting a 70 euro price tag on this on this premium area when essentially you're just getting a sunbed for the day it's absolutely crazy just because of the location in front of this this wonderful historical hotel is this going to be the shape of things to come in the future well I have noticed as I have been around the island as well particularly down here in the Calvia area I'm right on the edge of Calvia I have seen the increase of sunbeds sneaking out into areas where maybe locals would be sitting on the weekend and coming down to enjoy the beaches I've seen it over on there Cala Contessa as well where I I've just recently filmed a video too. There's going to be less space for us, basically. And in my opinion, as I've said, it does feel like the, the, the privatisation of the beaches by stealth over here in Mallorca. Coming to the beach is soon going to come at a cost as well. If you want to find space on the sand, either you get here very early, you come here first thing in the morning, you come here last thing at night, or you have to pay the price if you want to actually get some kind of sunbed offering. It's just absolutely crazy. But anyway, come on, let's take a walk along the beach now. I'm going to show you what Cala Mayor Beach is like. It's absolutely gorgeous down here first thing in the morning. If you are staying here in the area, do come down here in the mornings. It's a lovely place for an early morning swim and an early morning walk. If you're coming here at the weekends, expect it to be extremely lively because it is going to be very, very busy as we, as we creep on into the summer. It's going to be very, very busy. But unfortunately, the resort itself does not match the premium price being offered by the sunbeds. A huge road runs through. Joanne Miro runs through Calamayor. The restaurant, so the restaurant experience you get isn't going to be quite as peaceful as you'd find down in some of the bigger resorts like Palma Nova or Pagera or even Magaluf down this area because, well, it's not pedestrian. It is a, a, a busy road that passes through the resort. I love the thing here, but is this the right kind of offering yeah, down here on Calamior Beach? And I've just filmed that in time because it looks like they're just starting to open up. Anyway, let's leave this area. Let's go down to the far end of the beach. I'm just going to show you what it is like down here. Now, of course, it's early on in the season. I'm saying it's going to be busy this summer and it will be. It will be busy on the weekends. It just isn't quite yet, though. Okay, so I'm going to show you this huge change that we're seeing for the summer and I literally cannot believe this because the, this entire far end of the second beach down here in Calamayor, this used to be for people coming down here, we could lay down our beach towels, we could have our picnics, we could come down here as a family, but not anymore. So we're just coming up along the beach here and you can just see how much room there is for anyone coming down here with a beach towel just not very much at all there's hardly any room as well you can also have a few people lying in front of this whole luxury area and the beach bar hasn't quite opened yet there's no prices available yet I'll keep you posted but look I'm just looking at another angle here look you're gonna be lucky if you can fit fit 50 people along this stretch of beach which in no way accommodates 
us residents living over here. Also, you can see as well that there's been no big take-up of the, the luxury sun lounges just yet. be interesting to see if anyone does rent them as the summer goes on. So I've just been talking to a Spanish resident and it's such a shame I couldn't get him on camera as well because he holds the same view as I do. We are, and I have to say it, we're shocked by the number of sunbeds and beach umbrellas that we do have over here on Cala Mayor Beach and as residents of, of the area we do feel like we're being pushed off our own local beaches so you can almost understand and this is actually a very minor issue over here compared to the protests that we saw happening in Palma but from a local's perspective you can understand the resentment against mass tourism here if we can't even afford to go to our own beaches because a we can't get onto them because there's hardly any sand left for us to put a towel but we certainly can't afford these some bed rentals with minimum wage here from around 12 to 1500 euros and the majority of that going on to rent how on earth can we living here on the island afford to come to the beach for the day and spend 70 70 euros or 25 euros per day to spend it on the sunbed. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. It needs rethinking. I have to say it, it does need rethinking. And as we go on in, into the summer, it's not going to do very much for local feeling as well. As And as you know as well, sunbeds haven't come out on all the beaches over here in Mallorca, but they are creeping into areas where locals go and that's what I find more worrying. Okay, everyone, let's keep on walking along the beach now. I'm just going to get a few more views of Calamior Beach. I'll get you some restaurant prices as well over at Pelicano Beach to know what you can expect if you're coming down here for a meal. Okay, so I'm just taking a quick look at the prices here and I have to say, so for a bottle of water here, it is €3.80, which I'm sorry, that's, that's hilarious. Um, we've got a glass of wine here for €4.65 and let's just have a quick run down the menu board here just to check out the prices of the meals over here in Pelicano Beach. Check this out, look, paella here for €23. Euros. Okay, so I'm going to leave the beach now and we're going to come back here at the end of the day to see if there's been any take-up of the premium sunbed service. So I'll be right back soon. So fast forward to the end of the day over here on Calamayor Beach and check this out. Let's go and have a quick look at the premium area that's going to see how many people have taken up the premium sunbed offering. Now bearing in mind that these sunbeds are supposed to be out until 7.30, I can only see a couple of clients right at the end of the beach here who have, who have paid for the sun lounges. The rest of them have been all stacked up and we've found local residents and other holiday makers in between the, the sun umbrellas too. Now this is absolutely everything. You can see it's still a lovely day down here. You can see how busy it is over here on Calamior Beach. But look, funny that, no one really wants the premium sunbeds offering, apart from just a few holiday makers. Okay, so I'm just propped up here on the pile of unused, unwanted sunbeds. You can see the other side of the beach is actually still quite busy this afternoon with people still on the sun lounges. But my big question is, now you can see all these sunbeds have been stacked up for the rest of the day. Have anyone actually been on them? Have they been used? I don't know. And most importantly, for the 70 euros price tag as well, have they been cleaned down? Have they been prepared for the next day? I don't know. Or have they just been stacked up and left? Now, just to give some perspective as well, five days rental of the premium sun lounges over here on Calamior Beach. That's a grand 350 euros. That could in the old days be the whole price of a holiday and well that's certainly quite a few nights accommodation in one of the many hotels around the island so that's just to give you a quick idea of what the price guide is over here. Now it's going to get hotter over here as the sum summer goes on. It's going to get a lot busier as well. I think feelings are going to run high particularly um, among the locals 
Wales and I'm going to be back down here on Cala Mayor Beach. I'm going to talk to some residents and then ask them what they think honestly about this new premium sunbed offering that we have down here taking up just like this lovely half of the beach. Let's, let's find out what the locals think. So don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel and you can catch that video in the future. Okay everyone, I hope this video has been useful uh, for you. I hope it's not the shape of things to come on some of the smaller beaches over here on the islands but kind of suspect it is. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca Under the Sun and I shall see you on the next video. Goodbye for now.